On Tuesday, Taiwan's ambassador to Belize, Remus Li Ku Chen, handed over $1 million in medical equipment and supplies to Belize. The donation is to help the country with its COVID-19 response. The items, which include 200,000 surgical masks, will be distributed to healthcare facilities and laboratories across the country. These are all the very urgently needed medical equipment and materials for our doctors, nurses, and those who work in the front line in our hospitals, clinics, central labs, and so on and so forth. So what are they? Six infrared thermal imaging cameras. So that has been already donated, and they are already even installed by the borders, by the Ministry of Health, by the Ministry of Immigration as well, to detect those incoming visitors and see whether they have any fever or not. So it will be good for hospitals, for the border control, and it's now put into good use. And for doctors, especially when they have this kind of risk, get in touch with patients who might have COVID-19. What do they need most? N95 mask. So we donate today 10,000 of them, these kind of high quality and very, very useful for doctors and nurses in hospitals. And altogether, they also be used, the infrared, forward thermometers, which can be used easily, handy, in the entrance point, entrance point for any hospitals or public buildings or maybe private sectors, but this case, will be 500 of them, I think they will be distributed, distributed to all the different regions. Next, the two items will be the 2,000 pieces of the protective clothing, or we call PPEs, together, 4,000 isolation gowns. These are mostly, I will say, important items needed by also doctors and nurses when they face you know, the responsibility to take care of the pandemic of the COVID-19 patients and two automatic nucleic AC or PCR analyzers. I have no idea how much each costs, but until I was told, altogether I think they are perhaps uh, close to maybe, you know, several hundred thousand of Belizean dollars for each machine. So these, are, I think, will be adding to your work in the central lab to do a lot of more PCR testing. And then what we have is 720 sets you know, for the PCR testing. So altogether, adding to your already accumulated strategic resources of these testing kits that you have in your uh, actually stock. So I think this will be helpful for adding more to your resources count. And then 10,000 nasal swabs. Pablo Marin, Minister of Health, accepted the donations for Belize. Marin says that while these equipment and supplies come at the right time, and will go a long way for the country's COVID-19 health response, we must not forget that individual actions are critical in the prevention of the spread of the virus. You know in a pandemic, everybody is fighting for their own products. And we found ourselves without swabs, without gowns. Now with PCR coming in, it will help us much more. As we have one PCR machine, that eventually can go down, and what will happen? Now with two more PCR machines there, it will happen. We have us, we, have, we are buying PCRs, but they haven't reached as yet, because of the same thing, the demand out there. So what Taiwan is doing again is strengthening Belize and its Belizean people. Any amount of medical equipment that any country have is not enough in a pandemic situation. And the people and countries should realize that we need to maintain every protocol that the Ministry of Health is asking. Wear your mask, social distancing, wash your hands, proper hygiene that we are always advocating for. With this, we can continue and contain the virus. We cannot stop it, but we can con contain it. And we ask everyone out there also, because there are jumpers, there are people that are coming in without telling us. If this continues, it can affect us. So we need the help of the community for us to be able to contain the virus, which we are doing right now. Taiwan's Far Eastern Memorial Hospital will also donate five used ventilators to the Ministry of Health to be used to treat critical condition patients. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.